Today's here, and why is my glare so bad? Whatever. Um, so we're gonna be reviewing this tank, but I'm gonna unbox it. So we got it here from BMC Toys. So let me actually get my phone over here so I can actually get the thing open. Sorry if y'all hear it. Sorry if y'all hear something. I'm just gonna mute that really quick. I was just quite watching and I didn't realize that my package was delivered. So it comes with this wrap and this box right here. A box instead of wrapping. All right, great. Um, let's get this ready. Do I have any pairs of scissors lying around? I was not preparing to record a video right now. Check my package and I realized so there's a bunch of tape right here. Also, I don't have my phone camera holder, so there's a bunch of tape in the boxing. It says BMC Toys Jowitzer Tape Destroyer. Actually, need to get a second one of these because that one actually broke. So, let's get it open. Um, so, getting it open is pretty easy. It's easy enough. So, as you can see, it's hot inside. So, it's that comes packaged. So, let's pull it out and see... Um, so yeah, here it is out of the packaging. You can see on the top of the little plastic baggie, it says made in China. This is one of the BMC toys that are made in China. It also says choking hazard, not for kids under three, small parts, BMC toys, registered trademark, and all rights reserved. So let's get this thing out of the packaging. And since this is a German, oh yeah, since this is a German tank, it does come with German stickers. We'll put those on thing open <sighs> okay how am I gonna stick it open? so first thing getting it out ooh I don't wanna break that other cannon on my other thing broke so I'm trying not to break that cannon yeah that cannon is super fragile like the slightest of movements can break it so on my misrecognition do not give this to a kid under seven or eight just my best recommendation. If you're a parent watching this video, um, do not get this for a kid under eight. You can find this on Amazon. Just look up BMC toys and some hand stuff. You can also get a gray variant. Ugh. I do not know. This plastic is difficult to get out. This is also just, y'all are going to think, wow. Um, but this is. A very high quality plastic that's packaged in. Like, I don't know. It feels very good. Okay, do I have a pair of scissors somewhere around here? Just plain because I was not prepared to record a video. Um, can I just get my pencil in there and cut it open? Like the force of the pencil might cut it open or give me a little bit more of a hole so and break it open. Oh my gosh, this is difficult to get it out of. That's one thing I remember with the original tank. It was, or tank destroyer, not really tank. It was super hard to get it out. All right, there we go. So we finally get it open to the tank upside down. Okay, let's flip it over. So here's what it looks like without any of the stickers. Has this little thing on here to protect the cannon. So just get that out. Very gently take this off. Don't just rip it off because there's tape on these. On these, don't just rip the, in the cannon, it's to me probably the weakest connection. Probably on most of your BMC toys, it's probably just super loose. Um, so yeah, my best recommendation, do not just try to rip this little thing off, gently put it off. So, um, there we go. Here's the, this cannon teens to lean down like that. Very good detail on it. So let's get the actual stickers on. So stickers do have instructions of where to place them. So let's get them on really quick. So first thing over here, I need to place this towards the top of the cannon. Ooh. So I do need to place that around here. I just want to place it right. You know, it can be. Um, I'll place the German flag. This is the tedious process of putting on the stickers. So we're going to want to put it right back 
I'm pretty sure, yes. And then you flip it to the back, put the flag on the back. Put the flag on the back. Place it on right. And then you do the same process and put two of these German iron crosses on the both sides of the turret. You notice I have my gaming stuff behind me. I was just playing a game while I waited for my package to arrive. But I accidentally left my camera holder inside my mom's car. So yeah, we went to get some um, stuff, some food this morning, um, some McDonald's. Um, so yeah, get these iron crosses on the other side. Just gently place them on. And last but not least, I think I'm missing a place for the flag. I remember that there was a bunch of, oh yeah, wait. Where, where's the other iron cross? So yeah, I don't know where the other iron cross goes. So I'll put two of those on the front. Flag, flag. I don't know where my. Did they give me an extra iron cross? Um, I don't know where the other. Look. I think that they gave me an extra iron cross. So, anyway. So, first impressions, very good tank. One problem, though, it's supposed to be able to hinge up with that, but it doesn't on this copy. I don't know why. I don't know why it's not hinging up. One huge problem, in my opinion. So, it just kind of points in. Even this other one has enough friction, even though it's broken, to hinge up. Why this one's not? But the treads do feel super high quality. It's heard a pop. Okay, this one feels a little bit worse than this one. This one feels super duper high quality. But like this one feels a little bit more cheap. Like that turret and also that pop on the tread this thing feels a little tiny bit more cheap feels a little cheaper i don't know and this turret feels really flipping loose compared to this one this, this thing just feels a little bit cheaper like i'm not gonna lie this this is quality varying because this one feels super good this one just, I don't know, this extra one that I just got to have extra feels a little bit cheaper. Yeah, this one just feels a little bit cheaper. But they're still both ta nice to have two of them, but like, ugh. I mean, this, I'm not disgusted, but like, that is, the varying quality is one problem on the these. Quality is a one problem. But like, yeah, this feels really, really cheap. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why it feels so much cheaper than this other one. See, that thing look, that thing I, isn't broken, but like, like, this one's a little bit broken. Like, the seal's a bit cracked. Still feels more high quality than this one. Well, anyway, let's review the tank. So first thing, is there any varying details? The hatch hinges up, the tank turret moves around, but this one's a little bit more floppy than this other one, which feels a little bit better. I don't know. This one's a little bit cheaper feeling, but it still feels pretty good. Both turns have the problem of staying straight. That's a problem, but like, I just can't get over that turret. It feels a little bit I'm not gonna lie, this one feels a little bit cheaper. The turret is super floppy. This one, which is a little bit better. I don't 
you'd have to flip it like this to even get it to aim right, which is backwards. But this one, you can just point direct up. And then we got the same, like, tools, like a hatchet shovel, some other f equipment on both of them. Treads feel both pretty good, pretty solid on both the tanks. Treads feel pretty solid on both. The details on the bottom, the top looks pretty decent with the hatch, commander's hatch. Um, yeah, honestly, I might take this one to school, even though that other one's broken. This one feels cheap. There's full oil, can full oil canisters on both sides. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to figure out what the... I don't know why this feels so cheap. Like, this one does... It feels nowhere near the quality that that other one does, and I don't want to break it. This one is... This is very in quality. <laughs> We got some armor right there on both sides. Yeah, this one, I, honestly, it's going to be very in quality. If you bought them from Amazon, I don't know if, if you bought them from BMC Toys, but like, yeah. I mean, this one feels just a tad bit cheaper, in my opinion. Like, seeing that tread coming close to snapping if I want to stop pressuring it. This one doesn't have that problem. Also, this turret can move up and down. And it can go down and up. It feels pretty good for this turret, which is just a floppy mess of a turret. I don't know why this turret is so... I feel like I'm going to break it for the huge amount of pressure. It's like... Maybe... I'm going to break the turret. It's the one thing I do not want to do. That's why I bought it, is so I wouldn't break the turrets. But, like, this thing does... Yeah, this one feels a little bit cheaper than the other one. I mean, I still recommend the tank, but, like, this thing is... This one feels a little bit cheaper. Like, with that turret and also the treads, it's just a bit cheaper. Wait. Nope. I'm trying to figure out why that turret is such a floppy mess. I do not know why that turn is such a flippy floppy mess. But alright guys, um I do I recommend this tank? Yes, but like be aware of that turret problem where some tanks have good turrets, other tanks not so much. Not so fortunate. So yeah guys, um do I recommend this tank? Oh, yeah. For ten dollars, you're getting a pretty big tank. Pretty big tank. There's a commander inside of it. Um, opening hatches, movable turrets, you know, some of them are floppy messes, they have to turn like that, um, yeah, I still recommend the tank, but, like, yeah, that one's a floppy mess of a turret. So, guys, do I, I think you should pick some of these up, just be aware of that, that varying quality on some parts of the tank. So is it still look good on my equipment shelf? Very much. I need to rearrange these from my equipment yeah it still looks really spanking cool on your equipment shelf if you have one and then i can put the other tank destroyer right beside them i can put the other tank destroyer right beside all three of my tanks they probably look good on the battlefield and so guys see you in my next video if you are fine with the um floppy mess of a turret then i recommend the set um pretty decent little gap set one side I recommend more is the anti-aircraft guns. Those things are super good. Like, four anti-aircraft guns. And they're a nice addition to my tank sets. So, guys, see you in the next video. Bye.